evidence from, uh, from uh, uh, brain imaging suggests that uh, the brain areas which are engaged in a, in a neonate following a painful stimulus are pretty similar to the brain areas engaged in an adult. So the map look quite, quite similar, not entirely similar, but quite similar. But if you look at the electrical activity of the brain in a neonate compared to a, that of an adult, the response is substantially different. That means that neonatal pain is not an incomplete version of adult pain. It's something different. It's something that be has to be studied in its own right in order to find out what are, for example, uh, important uh, analgesic strategy that may work for this population, but they may not work for an adult and vice versa. And also what is actually very important to know is that what we experience as neonate has incredibly long-term consequences on our brain and our lives. Until now in my career, I've been focusing on uh, human studies in collaboration with uh, neonatal units at uh, UCLH and St. Thomas's. With this prize funding, I will start a new line of research where I will be able to back translate what I observe in humans into animal models in order to basically unpack and unravel what I observe in human and uh, find out what are the mechanisms underpinning those observations. Research is a, is a, is a very uh, collective effort where people from all 300, 360 degree come together uh, to, to advance our, our understanding. I'm very grateful uh, to the Medical Research Foundation for uh, giving uh, me and to giving us this opportunity to start this new line of, uh, of research. I hope it's going to be very beneficial for the scientific community and also for the public.